Good evening, everyone. This is Broomster. Um, I'm coming to you again, uh, with another one of my puzzles in another Solving My Own Sudoku video. Uh, this puzzle is called Jade Palace. I created it about five days ago, um, and then I sat down with Sotek, who I need to thank greatly, and we worked through it and we um, fixed up some issues we found in the puzzle. Um, it was okay, but not great, and uh, as always, the more you work through a puzzle and you refine it, um, you can uh, find some issues with it and then uh, make it better. Um, this one was pretty close, um, but had uh, a couple of things with the ending and uh, making a couple of minor changes really improved it. Um, since it was released in testing and it's been released uh, to the Cracking the Cryptic Discord and Logic Masters Gemini since then, I've had some phenomenal feedback. Um, I've seen a few people solve it and I've had people talk to me about their solve path they've found and everyone has found something a little bit different. So I'm actually very happy when that happens because it means that the puzzle is flexible for people who solve in different ways to explore in the way that works for them. Uh, they've all had to find the key deductions, but they've been able to uh, work towards it the way they wish to. Um, I, as a, um, I'll provide links to the puzzle below, but um, I highly recommend with this one, probably more than most of the others, that you give this one a shot on your own before you watch me start to solve it. Um, and that's because the trick that I show which is going to open my solve is pretty much the key to the whole puzzle and I can jump straight to it. And if you see that without discovering it on your own, I think this is going to be a lot less fun. Um, whereas finding the trick in this puzzle, I think is uh, actually the, the biggest fun in the puzzle. Um, another thing with this puzzle is I've seen a lot of people solve it since I created it and I've worked through it and we, uh, Sotek and I, um, explored some different ways of doing things, but I've never actually sat down and solved it since the first time I did before we made the minor alterations. So... Um, it, as I said, as I always say, this is not a blind solve, but I don't actually know exactly what my solve path is going to be because I'm going to incorporate some of the things that I've seen other people talk to me about, um, and that may change things up a little. So I'm going to find things in a slightly different order, um, cool things that I found, so and cool things that I've seen other people do. So I'm going to, this is a bit of experiment for me, and I hope you enjoy the journey. So this puzzle, and I'm just going to have a drink before I start, is Jade Palace. Um, this was designed while I was exploring um, a bit more on the whispers constraint and its interaction with other constraints. Um, some of you may remember I did a lot of uh, puzzles where I explored the diagonal constraint and its interaction with other constraints. This is, I've been kind of doing that with whispers a bit. And this is what I came up with. Um, the rules are as follows. Um, in every box in every row and in every column, the digits one to nine must exist without repetition. Standard Sudoku stuff. The gray lines are between lines, which means that what you put in the digits, let's say that was a, a three and this was an eight, that would mean these digits would have to be from four, five, six, and seven because they would have to lie, lie between three and eight. The Green lines are German whispers lines, and what that means is adjacent digits on German whispers lines must have a difference of at least five. So if we were to, uh, the biggest ramifications of this are, it means if you think about it, you cannot put a five on a German whispers line because um, if you start with a five, then if you reduce it by five, you get to zero, not a valid Sudoku number. If you increase it by five, you get to 10, not a valid Sudoku number. But what it also means is when you put a number lower than five, you must go alternate between below five and above five, below five, above five, high, low, high, low. Um, and the adjacent digits will alternate along that sequence. Um, and the only other rule in play is there are three black dots um, in the grid, and all of these dots will have a ratio of one to two. Um, not all black dots are given in this puzzle. Um, they're the rules, and now I am going to start showing you how to solve it. As I said, I highly recommend you try this one on your own, because I think the trick in it is quite good, and the feedback I've had on it is excellent, and I think if you find it on your own, you'll enjoy it a lot more. However, if you wish to keep watching, here we go. So, 
a three cell German whisper line on a between line. And I'm actually going to do this one because it's the one sitting right in front of me. If you think about it, um, as I've said, you can never put a five on a German whispers line, but this is on top of a between line. And if you think about between lines, you can never put ones and nines on between lines because a one or a nine on a between line has to have a number outside its bounds. It has to be between two other digits and you cannot do that. So if we were to just put in, and I'm going to do this, you can do some of this in your head, but I'm literally going to put in two, three, four, six, seven, eight, which are the six options you can have that because you cannot put a five on a German whispers line and you cannot put a one or a nine on a between line. Then we can actually think about this. In order for there to be a six on a German whispers line, you need to put a digit that is five away from it. And the only digit between one and nine that is five away from um, a six is a one, which is excluded by the, between uh, by the between line. So we can remove six. The only digit that is five away from four on a German whispers line is nine, which is excluded by the between line. So you can remove the four and you end up with two, three, seven, and eight. And this is the case on all of these three cell German whispers lines that are also on between lines. But you can actually take this a little bit further because you're down to these particular series, you know that there are only two high and two low digits in this pair. So you're either going to have seven, eight on the outside. And if you do that, you can't put a three in the middle because a three in the middle, seven is not four, five away from um, seven. So you can't put a three in the middle or you'll have two, three. And if you've got two, three, again, seven is not five away from three. So you cannot put seven in the middle. And this is also true in every single one of these between lines. Now, in row two, you've got a two eight pair. So you can remove two and eight from those cells. And remember how I said we'd have to go, these would follow a pattern. So you would go seven, two, eight, or three, eight, two. And same is true over here. So this can't be three or seven because if it was three or seven, these must have the same parity. So if this is three, that must be two. And if that is seven, that must be eight. So now you've got two eight pairs in those rows and you've severely restricted these um, between line German whisper lines without doing anything else. Now, and you can get to this as soon as you've got the two, three, seven, eight, you can think about these circles. And if you think about them, you must have a two and you must have an eight on this line, which means in order for this to be bounded, you must have ones and nines in these circles. And even down here, if you've got eight, two, seven, you've got an eight and a two. If you've got two, eight, three, you've got an eight and a two. These must also be one and nine. And you've got one and nine placed into a lot of these circles, even though these between lines are actually quite short. The next trick, um, and I'm working on the right-hand side of the grid rather than the left for some reason, I'm not sure why. The next trick is to think about these between lines. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing that I did last time. And I'm going to put in all of the options we can put on these between lines um, before I continue. So in this one, we can put one, we can't put two, three, four, can't put five because it's a German whispers line, six, seven, can't put eight because there's a pair looking at it, and nine. So we've got those options. Now, if we were to put a four or a six in the middle, then you would need to have the digit that it can see on both ends. So if you were to have a four here, you would need to have a nine on both sides of it. If you have a six here, you would have a one on both sides of it. So you cannot put four or six in the middle. If, and this is the same trick we did up here. If you think about the three, the three can only be bounded. There are only two digits that are separate from three in 
um, 1 to 9. You would need to put 3 surrounded by an 8 and a 9. But you can't surround it by an 8 or a 9 because you can't put an 8 on this whisper line. So you can remove 3. With 7, you would need to surround it by 1 or 2. And you can't because you cannot put 2 on this whisper line. So you can remove the 7. And that removes the 1, 9 from the ends. And you can do exactly the same on this line. Um, I won't go through all the options, but you do get to put a 1, 9 pair in the middle using exactly the same logic because 2 and 8 are not available. And these become 3, 4, 6 and 7. And you're starting to get a lot more restriction on this grid. Now we have this line. This line, it's not um, on a between line, but we do have a 1, 9 pair in the row. So we're again, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. Can't put 4 and 6 on it because 1 and 9 are not available. If we put 3 or 7 on um, in the middle, it would have to be bounded by a 1 or a 9 on one end, and we get back to this 2, 3, 7, 8, 2, 8 in the middle, 2, 3, 7, 8. And we've now got a 2, 8 pair in column 5. Now, that is one of the key tricks to this puzzle, is realizing all of that pressure. Because if we think about it, we've got exactly the same here. All of these whisper lines have got the same constraint. These can be two, three, four. They can't be five, six, seven, eight. However, in order for there to be even a four just on this whisper line on its own, not bounded by anything, it would need to be paired with a nine. And it can't be because then there's no nine in the column. You can take four out of it. In order for there to be a six, it would need to have a nine. You can't put a nine on it. Four and six can come out of every single one of those whisper lines which means we now have a 2, 3, 7, 8 quadruple in those columns. These cells must be 4, 5, and 6. This must be a 4, 5, and 6. But if we look here, we've got a, this is a 2, 8 pair. We can take 2, 8 out of there. That becomes 3, 7. We can't put 3, 7 into here because of the 3, 7 pair. This is a 4, 6 enforcing that. 1, 9, which we already knew. We could get that 4, 6 a little earlier by looking for that 4, 5, 6, but the logic we use here proves it. Um, and all of this starts flowing together. From this point on, this solve gets a little bit, well, not a little bit more tricky, but the, the flow on this puzzle is something that I understand a little bit less. This, even though it hasn't given us any digits, is pretty much the break into the puzzle. Um, this is the trick that you need to realize in order to be able to put this puzzle together. Because um, we now have, and I'm trying to remember exactly how to do it, uh, these can't be 2 or 8, so we've got a 3, 7, we've got another 4, 5, 6, triple up here. Um, we know that 1 and 9 have to be in here. You can't put a 9 on there. Um, these must be 2, 3, 7, and 8. There is no other option. There will be a 2 on these long between lines. There will be an 8 on these long between lines. These must be a 1 or a 9. So there will be a 1, 9 in those. Um, so we've got 1, 9 and 2, 8 already in the um, in column five um, there is another trick and I'm trying to remember what it is uh, three and seven must go in that column with whatever we don't use of four five and six two and eight must go down here um, except you can't put it in the middle. This is a hidden 2-8 pair. Um, that's right, because we've got 2-8 here, we've got 2-8 here, and we've got 2-8 here. This is a hidden 2-8 pair. This can be 1-4, or 
uh, can be one or four. Because if this is two, this can be one or four. If this is eight, this can only be four. So this can only be one or four. Um, 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 um. If this is three or seven, if this is three, this can't be seven. If this is seven, this can't be three. And the same applies here. This can't be three or seven. So we've got a two eight pair in here. Uh, but there is a trick I am missing and I'm trying to remember what it is. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So literally this can only be four, five, or six. You cannot put four onto a um they cannot put five onto a crop key dot. If this is a four, this would either have to be two or eight, but we already have a two eight pair in the row. Cannot be two or eight. This is a six. This is a three takes three out of there. Um, that six, three takes three out of the top, makes that a four, which we know makes that nine, which we know makes that one. And that one means that the other end of that has to be six or seven. The one makes that nine, makes that one. Uh, this now needs to be low, so it must be four. This now needs to be high, it must be six or seven. Um, the four comes out of both of those, three comes out of both of those, which means if this was to be, um, low on the outside, they'd both need to be two. So we need to put low in the middle and these become seven, eight. Um, this two is looking down, making that an eight, which means that we need to put low on the outside. They become a two, three pair. Um, and the rest of this puzzle is just finding all of the little tricks like that. And my problem right now is I don't remember them all. Um, But that's okay. It's a bit of a discovery together. I've solved quite a few puzzles since I set this and I don't really remember. So these are th three, four, five, six. And they do seem to be able to be any of them. I remember... There was something down here, and I'm trying to remember what it was. So 1 and 9 must go down here. So 1 and 9 is full in these columns. 1 and 9 is full in these columns. We need to put a 1 or a 9 down here. We can't put it in here. But we only need one of them. That's right, I think. So if we look over here, we need to put a 1 or a 9 in here because cannot put We've got to put a second one or nine in this box. Cannot put the second one or nine in there because one nine is full. Cannot put the second one or nine in there because it's full. Cannot put the second one or nine in there because it's full. So you have to put a one or a nine in there and you cannot put a nine on a black crop key dot. So the one, this must be a one, two. Once this becomes a one, two, this becomes a nine because the one is over here. This becomes a one, this becomes a one, this becomes a nine, this becomes a nine, this becomes a one. 
Um, there is another trick around ones and nines, but I'm not remembering it. Um, there is no two here. If there's no two here, I'd think that means this can't be seven. Um, one is up here because of these ones. Um, and if we, uh, nine is down here, but nine can never be on a between line. So nine is down here. There is something about ones and nines. I do need to put another one or nine in this box. It needs to be down here. So I need to put nine either on there and I cannot put a nine on a between line. That must be the, and the same is true over here. I cannot put one on a between line. That's the two, that's the one. That's what I was forgetting. Um, even though I explained it several times before. So now we need to put the other one or nine in there. Um, so, and you'll notice that these between lines now are very, um, uh, almost useless because any digit can go between one or nine. They've kind of already done their job. Uh, we need to put, now if we look in this column, and this is just me exploring at this point, we do need, still need to put a three in here. So this can't be a three. So this becomes high. So this has to be low. That can't be eight anymore. Um, four, five also goes down there. So that can't be five. Um, but six, seven, eight and nine are done. So this is three, five, six, seven, and must contain three or five. Um, seven must be down here because seven can't be up here. So seven is in one of those three. So I can take seven out of there. I'm missing something. I know I say that in most of my videos, but it's true. Um, hmm. Well, part of me wishes I'd studied the trick to this a little more. Um, oh well. So in this row, I'm only missing four digits. What are they? They are one, five, six, and seven. And we know that the one has to be in box five. But whether five, six, or seven goes in there, well, I can't put seven in there. So this is one, five, six. So seven has to go in one of those. That four is looking over there, making that a five, six. There's only three digits missing from here. What are they? got one, two, three, I need four, five, I've got six, seven. So these are four, five, and seven. That's not it. Eight in this box. Eight can't go in any of those because of the eight up there. Eight can't go there because of eight is in the quad here and eight can't go down there. That becomes the eight, which means that becomes the three. And that becomes the three because once that eight is, is eight, that is two. This is three. This is seven. This is three. 
Um, three we know must go with the eight, and this becomes a two seven pair. So this is the two, and this is the seven. Uh, that takes seven out of there. Um, uh, that six makes that a five, so we take five out of both of those. We can take four out of those, which puts four into those. Um. There's no three there because of the two, three pair. And this is where it just comes down to Sudoku and I am failing that. That's the seven, which means that's the two, which means that's the eight, which means that's the three, which means that's the eight. And that's the two. And that was because I put the three in here or the seven in there. Any of those would have resolved it. And I should have spotted that earlier as well. The seven takes seven out of there. This gives me a five, six pair, which makes that a three. Uh, the only digit I'm missing in here is a two. Um, I can take three out of there. Um, this is the only place in this row now that I can put a seven. Um, that makes that a six, which takes six out of those. This is a four, five pair, making that a six. Uh, the only digit I'm missing in here is one, two, three, four, five, six, is eight. This is now a triple, which is one, two, three, four, five, and nine. And if we look at this carefully, then we'll realize that if we were to put four here, we would put five and nine in the um, circles and four is not between five and nine. So this has to be the five and this becomes a four nine pair. Once we put a five there, we can take five out of both of those. Um, this is a four, five, six to complete the column. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. So that's an eight, and this is a four, five, six. This, however, is a triple here. It is three, six, and seven. So we know that six can't be in either of those. And I'm not sure why I've pencil marked seven into just those two. I'm not going to trust that, but this can't be a three. Um, one of these has to be a one, but I've already got that. I can remove six from there. This is three, five, seven. So I know that five can't be there. This is a four, six. And there's all sorts of stuff going on with four, five, sixes and sevens, but I don't remember. Ah, here we go. The only number left in the box there is a five. That becomes a four. That becomes a six. That becomes a five. That becomes a four. That becomes a five. That becomes a six. That becomes a four. That becomes a six. Uh, that four makes that a five. There's no five there. Um, across, and now as you can see, we've mainly got the, the middle three, um, middle three rows. This becomes a four. 
and let's just look at the triples we've got. So we've got three and seven and four in there, I believe. So they're three, four, seven without three in the middle. I can take four out of there. This becomes a one, which forces that to be a two. That four removed the, um, this was one of four and that four makes that a one. That can only be a two because of the crop key dot. That becomes a nine. That becomes a one. I can take one out of there. This is neither one nor nine. In fact, the only digit not in the uh, row is five. Two is there, so that becomes eight. That two jumps down and makes that a three, makes that a two. We can take five out of there. We can take one out of there, and we knew one of these had to be a one, so that becomes the one. This is a five or a six. There's a five in the box. That becomes a six. A lot of this stuff has been here for ages. I'm sure that you've... All of you who are watching this have had heaps of opportunity to uh, point and go, Bremster, you're missing stuff. Good luck to you, because I was. Um, so, yep, seven and eight go in. Um, and so nine is in one of those two, but we don't have it narrowed down yet. Um, so this six makes this a seven, which makes this a five. I can take five out of there. Seven makes that a six, which makes that a three. The three makes that a seven, which makes that a three. Uh, in this, I'm just missing one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. Uh, that six makes that a nine, and that a six. Helps if I push the right buttons. This is four, five, and seven. Five can't be there, so I've got a four, seven pair, making this a five. Seven makes that four, makes that seven, makes that nine, makes that four. And now we are absolutely just cleaning up. That four makes that a seven, and right in the top center, I make that a four, and we complete the puzzle. So there's a lot of pointing pairs and stuff around this, but you need to find them. You need to draw them out by realizing just how constrained all of these whispers lines are, even though they're kind of tiny. So the combination of the between line and the whispers lines really does put a lot of pressure onto it. And then the whole thing, you've just got to find those tension points. I really did um, enjoy setting this puzzle and figuring out how I could put the grid together so that the pairs and all of those pressure points lined up in such a way that they provided useful information. I really hope you tried the puzzle um, and I really hope that you um, found discovering that or watching me show you that in the grid was as rewarding um, as it was to me finding it because I really think this one was fun. Um, good luck with your future puzzle endeavors. Uh, I hope you, uh, if you enjoyed it, you you give a, the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of the stuff that I do, there's more of my puzzles over on Logic Masters Germany. I'll provide a link below. Um, there's another puzzle quite similar to this that I've done a video on in the past called um, In the Lab, which uh, is German Whispers and Thermos. Um, and of course, there's probably my favorite German Whispers puzzle I've done, which is called Scarabs. Um, yeah, explore more, do more puzzles. Hop on to the Cracking the Cryptic Discord server where there's always people um, releasing phenomenal puzzles um, and join the communities. Um, good luck with your puzzle endeavors. Thank you for watching.